came. I was born and raised in a small village in North Korea. Due to my country's poverty, I was forced to do unpaid labor from my young age. When I should have been studying hard, instead, I was soaking sweat while planting and harvesting crops. Most of the grain went to the military, and all we were left with was the worry of while we could eat the winter. Extreme pandemic restrictions have made North Korean lives harder than ever. And we are also facing a reign of fear. They isolate North Koreans and harshly punish people just for accessing foreign information. Even when starved, the North Korean government has no policy to help us. The government turns our blood and sweat into a luxurious life for the leadership and missiles that blast our hard work into the sky. We used to think that the money spent on just one missile could feed us for three months. But the government doesn't care and is only concerned with maintaining their power, developing nuclear weapons and creating propaganda to justify their actions. Even with such hardship, North Koreans cannot express any dissatisfaction to their government. Our people have no human rights, no freedom of, of expression, and no rule of law. So anyone who disagrees is taken to a political prison camp where they will do hard labor until they die, or they are simply shot to death. The North Korean government has eradicated basic human rights from my homeland.